everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Hatoful Boyfriend. Today, I'm joined by a special guest, Jay. Hello. He might be a little bit on the quiet side, but that's just Jay for you. Jay was pulled from the $10 plus tier of supporters on Patreon, where one of the bonuses is guesting with me in my videos. And today, I needed emotional support to get through this path in the game, so I invited him to join in. Is Hyoko Tasaka okay? Uh, never. Especially not now. I, I think I prefer Burb Burb still. Yes, Burb Burb, which is uh, Jay's personal character going through this game. Who, I believe the canon romance for, for, for Burb is, is Kazuaki? Yes. Yes. We're going to do normal life. I mean, as normal life as, as a human going to this school is. This is not going to be normal, though. This is going to be the, perhaps, the complete antithesis of normal. I, there's a reason why I saved this particular romance for last. Many of you already know who I'm talking about. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a charmer. He is another member of the staff, which makes this even more inappropriate than it was even with Kazuaki. Mr. Nanaki. And continuing to skip because we've already seen this all a million times. Nageki, no! I can't hear that music now without being like, Nageki! Nageki, no! Um, Jay has also played through this game multiple times. Yeah, I've done almost all of them. I think I'm only missing the fantails. The fantails, which were among the first that I covered. Yes. Alright, skipping this dialogue. And then we're back in the classroom. And so I'm going to actually not skip over this next part because it is relevant to this playthrough. That's right. <clears throat> Excuse me. No birdies here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's nobody here. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Weird! Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here! Esselpar, Trife, Lucio Benzine, what do these even do? Care to find out? I can't deepen my voice appropriately enough. I can't sound like Snufkin. Well, see. See? <laughs> D? Because it, it's, it's on so much of a delay that I couldn't jump in if I wanted to. I, I understand. I understand. Unfortunately, Jay is unable to read because he is watching this through a stream, so it's not as easy for him to keep up with where I am. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? No, thank you! <laughs> Introducing Shu. We've already seen him in just about every possible playthrough so far. He's had his hands in really weird shit the entire time. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Can't every imagine why. I can't imagine what with the disappearances and the constantly bloody infirmary, which, well, it's not necessarily always known in game, but the supplementary material. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him. He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? S sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Right. Alright, out of that den of evil. Okay. So, we're gonna go back to skipping, because we've already seen this a million times. So yeah, the beginning of this game, it's kind of repetitive. I think you've noticed that if you've gotten this far in my Let's Play. Oko-san. 
Wait, did I? I did choose normal life, didn't I? Yes, you did. Okay. I For some reason, I thought the screen was black for too long. Then again, I would go black too if I was about to romance. I'm about to romance. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, you know, a whole, bunch, whole chunks of my life would just be missing from my memory at that point because I'd be blocking it all out. So, if you want to romance Shu, romance being entirely in quotation marks here, you want to join the infirmary staff. I mean, you know, that would probably be a given, but I'm just saying. That's every bird, or that's everyone. I'm not doing Kazuaki's voice properly. He does not talk like that. All right, uh, for Shu, you want to boost the math. The math, the wisdom stat. He does not like stupid people. I don't think he likes Hyoko anyway. Well, I mean... I don't think he likes anybody anyway. He doesn't like anyone. Oh, I'm supposed to hop at the infirmary today. I shouldn't keep them waiting. Better hurry! Salutations, Hyoko. Oh, wait. <clears throat> this is a French bird. <clears throat> Salutations, Hyoko. Yuya? What's wrong? Are you hurt? So sweet of you to worry for me, but no. I'm the second in command here. You are? I never would have guessed. I couldn't be happier, mon ami. Mystery is the most powerful of aphrodisiacs. Uh, aphrodisiac hacks. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> our job is to, have is to check the medicines and to clean up in here. I'm making this way too nasal. Well, I mean it's French, but... And clean up in here. Normally, I'd do that. But today I've got some stuff I need to take care of, so could you handle this mess for me? Of course. My thanks, Yoko. Oh, and don't touch the desk. It's the doctor's personal area. I'll take you somewhere nice in return. Adieu! Yuya flutters out the door as it makes footprint or foot footfall sound effects. Did he just ask me out? Anyway, cleaning. <laughs> the music suddenly uh, dies. I, I like the segue into that. Did he just ask me out? Oh, wait, I got it clean. Whatever. Some of these drugs are a little weird, no matter how you look at it. Is this really an infirmary? It feels more like a human, or rather, avian experimentation room. It could become a human experimentation room. <laughs> huh? The desk drawer is open, and there are files sticking out. You know, the more I read this, the more I think Yuya was setting Hyoko up. Yeah, kind of like, oh, I'm going to avoid responsibility because I'm about to do something I'm not supposed to. Well, even more in the sense of, yeah, don't touch the desk, that I surely would have noticed if the drawer was open or not. Mm-hmm. Everything was very neat when I was in here last, but maybe the doctor's a little careless about tidying up? Yuya did say not to go near the desk, but I think I'll neaten the desk. I mean, it's a good thing to do for, for him, maybe, even though we were told not to touch the desk. It's a nice thing to do. Just putting the files back in order should be fine. You again? <coughs> d d d d doctor? When did you? I just got back, but oh my, we do have sticky fingers, don't we? Th that's not it. Sakazaki asked me to clean. Clean? Oh, I see. You're on the staff now. Y yes. Did he say anything about not going near the desk? Or did he say anything about going near the desk? E yes, sir. Please do be more careful next time. Curiosity killed the cat, among other things. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. People forget that part. <clears throat> yes, sir. Let's never do that again. Who's us? Let's play! Okay. Oh my god. Let us play this game of weirdness and... Yeah. Alright, this next scene actually doesn't matter that much because we can't... It doesn't matter because Shu's not here! Ah! Let's talk with Kazaki. But it doesn't matter. humanity. That we can't talk to the fucking creeper. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend? Wisdom class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. Because this. wisdom can be taught. 
I imagine you're well aware, but no one gives a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine this you're well true. aware. <laughs> Sports Festival! So, I don't know if it has too much of an impact anyway, but you want to go to the first aid tent because we're supposed to be helping out with the infirmary and that would be presumably where she would be and blah blah blah. But again, we've already seen all of this. Yeah. Where's the doctor? Over there. Over there! He's resting in the shade of a tree some distance away. It looks like he's taking notes on the performance of the birds on the racetrack. What's he doing over there? He doesn't want to ruin his girlish complexion working in the heat. He does the same thing every year. Is he taking notes on something? A lot of the birds graduating from this school get scouted by pro sports teams, so maybe he's checking up on the promising ones. Uh-oh, they started. We'll be busy soon. Get ready, mon ami! Yes, sir! And so I blah. <laughs> First barrier. Um, I think actually, again, her grades are going to be pretty good this time. Because we've done nothing but studying. No charm. But, uh, no charm, incredible vitality. We're probably going to need that dealing with Shu, actually, come to think. Mmm, today is a good day! I wonder what I should do during break. So I've done this before. Go to the infirmary. You again. Are you ill? Probably. Um, not exactly. Then why are you here? I came here to... hear your voice. I wanted to hear your voice. My voice? Yes! You sound like Snufkin. And? Um... Don't tell me you came here just for that. Would it be bad if I did? You're even stranger than I had thought. I'm fascinated. How I'd love to experiment on you. Sadly, I am busy at present. Please go elsewhere. Okay. I got kicked out. I guess being told I'm interesting is a step in the right direction. Or is it? No, it's no. not. <laughs> No, it's, it's really not. It's really, really not. Today is an elective day. Um... Bonk. And... What the... I, what is math good for? Speaking as an adult, not much. Sorry. All I could... Hmm? All I, all I could think of was the... War song. What's it good for? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, just, like I said, speaking as an adult, um, you don't use it as much as they pretend you're going to use it. No, unless you're actually working in a related field. Right. I mean, if you're working to be in a math-related field, then absolutely, but as a general education, it's good to have the basics, but if you, you're you probably not going to need advanced calculus or trigonometry in your everyday life. Anyway, well, there's lots of stuff here. Cause stuff. Anybody I know? And there's Yuya. And Nanaki, who has posted his schedule. And just who will be granting my wish? And how? Why are we looking for his, his wish tag? What should I wish for? Um, why not rule the world from the shadows? Because that's also the one that boosts the wisdom stat. Which we've already done last time. Hello, Kazuaki. Do I want you to walk me home? No. I actually... One of my earlier playthroughs for this game, I was originally trying to do this exact same path, but I ended up doing too many uh, pro... Nanaki things and it threw th it threw the rest of it off like at the point where it was supposed to decide your romance for the game All of a sudden it was Nanaki everywhere, and I'm like I have to go back to an earlier save I had saved over my earlier save <sighs> Yeah, it's a classic gaming mistake if you have multiple saves do not save over the save that you need for saving <laughs> To save yourself when you to when you save, save. <laughs> 
Educational candy. No. Such a thing is not... does not exist. Not with calculus, no. No. Cleaning the classroom took longer than usual. I need to hurry to the infirmary. Hyoko! What is it? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Nothing much, just... Have you heard of the Seven Mysteries of St. Pigeonations, Hyoko? This school even has its own horror stories? Do tell. Yeah, well, there's one that says sometimes students will disappear in the infirmary only to show up again as food in the dining hall and quill pens in the school's door. Sounds like an urban legend to me. It does, but Dr. Iwamine is pretty suspicious. Be careful, okay? You go to the infirmary a lot, right? Has he ever done anything to you? No, but, well, you're a girl, Hyoko. I'm a little worried. That's true. I'll be careful. Ryoto always has been one to overthink things. Anyway, can't keep you yet waiting. Yeah, that's that's who we're going to see. That's probably who who we should be going. Wait, no, he's the fucking French spy pigeon. <laughs> There's no one right in this game. Excuse me, huh? Yuya and the doctor are talking about something. Did you really think I hadn't noticed? You sure look like you woke up on the wrong side of the nest. What are you talking about? I shouldn't have to explain. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I have told you never to touch my desk, haven't I? And what makes you think I ever have? This doesn't look too good. Um... Hyoko, there you are, mon ami. Hyoko can back me up on this. We were in the courtyard together until a few minutes ago. She said she was going to the restroom, so I should go ahead. I only just got here. In other words, I haven't had time to go rifling through your stuff, doctor, right, mon ami? Just what is going on here? It sounds like the doctor suspects Yuya of having searched his desk while he was out. I came straight from the classroom to here, so Yuya's obviously lying. I... So, last time, when we were romancing Yuya and this scene came up, we sided with Yuya. But you know what? It is wrong to lie to a teacher, no matter what the context is. So, really, he should have to pay the consequences for that. So, I was in my classroom. I don't even know what's going on yet. I can't just lie through my teeth. No, I was in my classroom until just now. Ryota was there too. Yuya is lying. Shit. Well done, Miss Tosaka. I'm glad our new assistant is so astute. What a pity, Yuya. It would seem that you are somewhat in lacking basic truthfulness. I think we need to have a long, serious discussion. Alone. Okay. <laughs> that gives me a bad vibe. I'm sorry, Miss Tosaka, but could you leave? This is important. Um... Yeah, the creep vibe just went up to ten. I got kicked out again. Yuya's face looks pretty bad. Dr. Iwamine praised me, but what on earth is going on? Bring! Go ahead. No. What? No. No? No. No, okay. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm smart. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. And it's been a full episode already. But I hope to see you next time where we continue on this path through this game. I'm already getting such great feelings from how this is going to go, aren't you, Jay? Yeah, uh, totally. <laughs> really positive. Really, this is... Wow. Okay. But I hope to see you next time.